React streamers. They're back at it again. It seems like for the last year or two, the internet has really had it out for like certain React streamers and YouTubers. People like Sniper Wolf have been getting absolutely blasted for her lazy reacts and really blatant Ooh. content theft as well. A little bit of doxing while streamers like Hello XQC, there. Asmin, Gold, Hassan, and many, many, many others are regularly criticized for their lazy react content. A few months ago, XQC, along with uh, several other of the uh, React streamer crew, came under fire for their reactions and then subsequent re-uploads of a very specific uh, Let Me Know video. Basically, a bunch of viewers and other fellow content creators believe that what these streamers were doing uh, is basically content theft. Essentially, these streamers would react to these YouTube videos very shortly after they were uploaded and then would subsequently post uh, their reactions of said stream, clip it, and then post it to their own YouTube channel. Many people arguing that this is basically content theft, and not only that, it drives engagement and money away from the original video to the uh, uh, reactor's video. Now, personally, I don't think that there's like anything wrong with reaction videos. I mean, I've done them here on the channel, but there's definitely different levels of reaction content and levels of the reaction game and what we find acceptable. For example, does the reaction video have sufficient commentary or is it transformative in nature? Now, what counts as those magical words, transformative in nature, is hotly debated by many. However, I would definitely say what doesn't count as transformative is, for example, like, long minutes of silence combined with a few soy jack faces or just straight up getting up and leaving the video playing for your chair and your thousands of fans altogether. However, in the last week, the conversation around the dreaded React streamer on the internet has shifted dramatically. Not that long ago, the biggest live streamer on the planet, XQC, the uh, ADD goblin that he is, got himself in a little bit of drama, a little incident. You see, XQC somehow thought it would be a good idea to react to live airstrike footage of the Gaza Strip. Jesus! That's a big oof, my guy. Ooh. X's team would later go on to upload uh, this clip to his XQC Clips channel, uh, prompting many people from around the internet to criticize him for profiting off this war conflict. One of my favorite YouTubers and fellow candy connoisseur, uh, Oompaville, recently put out uh, a video regarding this whole issue, where he lays out like all of his all of the facts and gives uh, his take and his opinion. I'll link it in uh, the description box down below. Here's a clip though for some context. Quite frankly at this point, even though I'm a 19 year old white boy from Virginia, it feels like I'm a parent getting called to pick up my troubled child from fucking school. So on the surface, all of this immediately looks uh, rough. Personally, I'd say that applying the classic React streamer formula um, to covering a highly sensitive military conflict where like thousands of innocent people are dying, is probably not the best idea. And then even further doubling down and uploading the the clip of said reaction live stream to your YouTube channel, probably not the best idea. To make matters worse, XQC responded to this mounting criticism online in probably like the most XQC way possible. Now I'm just gonna blatantly steal this bit from Oompa, but how do you think the Giga Millionaire terminally online streamer responded to the mounting Twitter criticism? A, he called all of his critics haters. B, he posted a picture of himself flexing on top of a pile of money. C, he put out a well-crafted apology from his PR team. D, both A and B. I mean, would you even believe me if I told you that this oh. was his response on Twitter? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Now, okay, you're probably thinking, fuck this XQC guy, especially if you're not like super into like Twitch culture and like know really who he is. He really kind of seems like a rich troll with very questionable morals. And while yes, I think that you would be correct in this summation, um, is this situation as simple as it's made out to be? I actually don't think so. You see, despite like all of the criticism that XQC was getting on Twitter, there was like a few several high profile content creators that seemingly came to X's defense. 
for example, uh, Twitch streamer and React Lord Asmongold. Now, while personally I can't stand Asmongold's reaction content, I find it incredibly cringe and not transformative. As a human being though, as a whole, I find that Asmongold is much more sane and rational than much of his uh, Giga Twitch streamer counterparts. While I don't agree with him on everything, generally Asmongold is regarded as having like well thought out takes on issues and in general he is a person who seemingly puts some at least some level of thought and rationality into it before he puts his take out into the world. So then, is Asmongold right? Are people just overreacting because it's really easy to hate XQC, especially when he puts out a response like this? Well, according to XQC, in an over 40 minute video he posted on his channel called I Made Twitter Mad, X says that the only reason he watched said video was because of uh, mounting pressure from his chat to educate himself on the topic, saying that he has a responsibility uh, as a person with a large platform to talk about the conflict in Gaza. I came to a topic that had no education on it, and people say, you have a responsibility with your platform to know about this or whatever. I was like, okay, let's, let's learn about this. And I was literally doing a segment where I was getting educated on the topic, while hopefully educating others as they learn with me. As well, X goes on to say that what he's done here really is no different from what like political content streamers, for example, like uh, Hassan and Destiny do. At the same time, while editing videos about the exact same topic, such as this, did Israel bomb Hassan in Gaza? Question mark? So this, of course, in ahead of time, break it, no, guys, no breaking news policy, guys. No breaking news. This is not a dig at Hassan itself. This is more a dig at the culture entirely, right? Because they will green light one thing and not another just because of what is currently accepted and what is the current fucking public narrative. If you don't know who Hassan and Destiny are, they're like the two biggest political uh, streamers, content creators, like in the content creation kind of space on the internet. The majority of their content is spent covering political issues, whether it's through like research, conversations, or debate. Both Hassan and Destiny, regardless of what you think of them as human beings or their political views, have both covered the uh, God a conflict extensively over the last few weeks on their live streams and in their YouTube videos, both of which are monetized. Now, many people argue that what Destiny and Hassan and other political kind of content creators, maybe like David Pakman and many others, what these people do is different as like politics and international relations is the core, is the crux of their content as a whole. And as such, both of them, like I said, regardless of if you like them or not, or what your thoughts are of them as human beings, both of them do make a constructive contribution to the overall conversation. It doesn't seem like they're just just like straight up leeching the, the conflict for money, but are trying to provide a unique insight or some kind of a contribution to the conversation as a whole, which transforms this type of content. Now, every fiber in my body is telling me that what XQC did here is wrong. It is morally wrong, but let's just take a second and chill and let's attempt to give this guy the most charitable impression that he's ever gonna get, and let's see where we land. Because you see, while XQC does dumb shit, and he is very much an egotistical, morally dubious millionaire, he's not stupid. What's that, what's that thing? Is that a dog? Ooh. Okay, I stand corrected. Sometimes he's stupid. As we said, according to X, he began looking into the conflict in Gaza on stream because he wanted to learn about exactly what was going on. As he said, his chat was pressuring him to discuss the conflict on stream and I guess to educate himself. This does seem believable to me. The Israel-Palestine conflict is hotly debated and it's a super sensitive subject. People are going to have insanely strong opinions about it one way or the other, and seeing as XQC is one of the biggest, basically the biggest streamer in the world, consistently pulling 40 to 60K viewers, easily going over 100K viewers at times, there's probably a good section of his chat that wouldn't stop talking about the conflict, uh, as that's all the world really has been covering for like the past week since it's begun. As well, this idea that like XQC wanted to look into the Israel-Palestine conflict like on his own and try to learn about what's happening, that doesn't surprise me either. That seems believable to me. Felix, while most likely having a uh, different moral values than me, 
Um, he is a morally questionable goblin and internet troll. He's not an idiot. I could believe that genuinely he was curious about the details in the conflict and possibly in his mind, he didn't think that like watching these videos, reacting to these videos was a big deal. It wasn't a big deal at all to him as the idea of reacting to breaking news on stream is relatively normal seeing as both Hassan and Destiny do similar things, albeit much more responsibly. Generally, more responsibly. Hopefully, more responsibly. Even like XQC's Twitter response, while childish and stupid, it, it's actually really predictable from him. My man loves to flex. Dude loves to flex his money. Now I don't have a psychic to tell me what's going on inside of the mind of XQC. God, would I love to have one though. Actually, low key, that's a banger idea for a video. I paid a psychic to read XQC's mind. Yo X, hit me up bro, I think I think we got something big here. On second thought though, I think if I found out what was going on inside the mind of XQC, my own mind might shatter from shock. Despite all of this, I'm gonna take a guess onto like maybe what X was thinking here, and we're gonna attempt to be super charitable to this guy for science. You see, this guy, XQC, my man gets a lot of hate. Some of it deserved, some of it maybe not so deserved. That seemingly is the curse of being a massive content creator. That's what you trade the millions of dollars for. As well, first and foremost, XQC is a troll. It's very likely he knew full well, like what this type of post, like this response to the criticism, like it would make people even more mad, which is exactly what it did, which is also probably why he did it. He got a brilliant flashback. I mean, once again, if we're super, super charitable and we look at all of this from like his perspective in his mind, he likely feels like he didn't do anything wrong and is just getting hate because people love to hate on him. So what does he do? He decides to rile up a bunch of these people online by confirming to them their preconceived notion that they already have of him as this rich, lazy, morally lacking asshole. Of course, it really would have just been so much easier for him to issue an apology but yeah, that was never gonna happen. So then, is Asmongold right? Are people just piling on to XQC because, like, he's really easy to hate? Maybe. Honestly, I don't know. X later argues in his I Made Twitter Mad video that his XQC uh, Clips channel isn't there to make money, and it's just there to gather traction online, aka to get views, aka to get money. I'm not mad at the editor for posting this. I commend him for posting this. I commend him. I genuinely do. I don't know why. Actually, clips doesn't make money. It doesn't. Um, short clips don't make a lot of money. It's not very well monetized. Um, it's not an effort to make money. I don't know how you get traction on YouTube without getting money unless you have a video that bangs with views, but it is demonetized. For the sake of his argument though, let's say that the video made him like zero dollars. He didn't make any money off of it. Was it morally wrong for him to react to it at all and to post it in such an irresponsible way? Yes, I think probably at the end of the day though, None of this really matters. There's tons of other creators out there that are profiting off of basically the reaction or the coverage of things happening in Gaza. Some of them way more responsible than others. Some of them very irresponsible. I guess for a lot of people, it probably just feels weird watching a millionaire Winston main make soy jack faces watching Gaza get bombed. At the same time though, if I am being charitable, the, uh, the outrage and backlash was probably a little overboard. Then again though, when this is your Twitter response, of course people are going to be mad. It's almost like he wanted you to be mad. I mean, this is the guy who did the worm in the middle of an argument for the argument's sake. People would rather watch me full screen cam do the f***ing worm than watch your do prime- that. Than watch Bro, your prime content. Do it for a week. Do a week of no reaction content and see how many views you get. Oh, he's crying in the corner. He, oh, okay, sure. I mean, that's content, man. It's, ori it's original that's content, that's at least. You like it? Yes, do that, bro. Like that? At the end of the day, all of this is a basically certified shit show, which is just another day, another day of normalcy here on the cesspool that we call the internet. Personally, uh, insert your favorite Twitch streamer here is probably not where I would go to get my Israel-Palestine takes. When this is all said and done, I really doubt that XQC would have learned probably anything from this, and the saga of React streamers is surely only to continue uh, in a new chapter in the foreseeable future. As far as the conflict in Gaza with Israel and Palestine, though, goes, um, I mean, what can I really even say, man? I think that 
really one of the most tragic things like with humanity with humans is that in our 300,000 plus years like of existence as a species here on this earth we've come to rise like no other animal in the history of this planet we managed to go from scattered tribes to encompassing the entire planet with complete civilizations filled with technological wonders complex systems of government, of language, mathematics, life-saving medicines. We've created things that like truly boggle the mind that are almost unfathomable. We as a species have managed to turn literal fantasy into reality. Yet despite all of this, this perceived human excellence that like we have, this pedestal that we hold ourselves as a species on, the burden of consciousness that we carry, we somehow have not managed to overcome this like senseless, needless need to kill one another. And to me, like that's absolutely tragic. At the end of the day, like these are just my thoughts and my opinions. Feel free to let me know your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. Do you think what XQC did was wrong or do you agree with Asmin that this whole entire thing was maybe just all a little overblown to begin with? One thing I know for sure is that this will not be the last bit of drama that XQC uh, finds himself in. Not by a long shot, man. If you enjoyed the video, learned something new, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe as this type of engagement really does help the channel out and helps me to be able to make these videos. If you did enjoy this video, then why don't you check out one of the videos on screen now. As always, guys, drink your water, love your mother. Until next time, peace, love, audience.